Ohio. Hi. What's everybody up to? Somebody says, OMG, I finally caught one of your lives. Welcome. There was a tree moving and I thought that it was a human. <sighs> Somebody just says, flat out legacies. That is on my resume. <laughs> Hi. I'm gorgeous. Thank you. So are you. What is up, dudes, dudettes, and everything in between? I am eating kimchi. We call it good. I used to not be able to say Quincy's character name because I kept pronouncing it like kimchi. MG. Big facts. It's a true story. It's really awkward. Tutorial on how to use a chopstick. Um, do it. I don't know. Um, practice makes perfect. <laughs> how is Villa now? She's good. She's been outside the house all day. Um, I've stopped feeding her because apparently that's why I've basically stolen her. Um, so... We'll see if she still loves me after I stop feeding her. I doubt it. For those of you who haven't really been on this saga. So, basically, what was it, three days ago now, four days ago? Uh, Lizzie, the cat, was outside my backyard, like, in the woods. And so I saw her and I was like, I think we could be friends. So we became friends. And then I fed her, which apparently basically means like you're stealing a cat, which I didn't really know. I think I have to sneeze. No. Anyways, <laughs> so we became bros. Yeah, no, I still have to sneeze. <coughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> and so um, the next day she came back. Ba this is a really boring story. Basically, I'm not a cat person, but I became a cat person. Also, if you couldn't tell from me sneezing, I'm allergic to cats. Like, really allergic to cats. Like, my throat is scratchy. I was itching all day yesterday. But I like her. Anyways. So I basically kind of have a cat, but, like, really don't have a cat. So, yeah. Yeah. I've also just been attracting a lot of animals recently. Like there was a dog that was taking himself on a walk yesterday. Um, and he had on a collar and everything and I was like, great, so now I have to like find this dog's home. So I walked with this dog for about a mile. And then it just like wandered into this person's garage and they were like, oh, hey, insert dog's name. And I was like, is this yours? And they were like, yes. And I was like, it was like a mile away. They were like, really? <laughs> so, anyways, moral of the story is care for your animals. I know a lot of people are getting and fostering animals right now because we're all in quarantine, but just, you know, analyze your life and say to yourself, like, will I be able to take care of this animal once I'm back to normal and, like, doing the whole work thing? Or else I'll end up stealing it. Um... Left from Indonesia. Green hair is gone. Um, no, it's still green on the ends. I'm doing a live. Oh. <laughs> You're not in it. <laughs> don't tell me. Somebody said thoughts on last night's episode of Killing Eve. I don't know. Somebody already spoiled it and was like, oh, like, what are your thoughts on the um, villain, villain, whoa, villain Ellen Eve kiss? And I was like, shut up. <laughs> What? Stop. I said, don't spoil anything. Craziest thing, though. Killing Eve, the Twitter account, followed my Twitter. So, of course, like, I followed them because, like, I'm a fan. But now they keep, like, tweeting stuff of, like, from the episodes. Anyways, how are you, Mom? I'm looking for chocolate. Hello from England. Hello. Sing a song. 
<laughs> Happy birthday to you. What are your thoughts? Quincy! I'm a big fan of you too! How is my worm farm? My worm farm is really great. I've added a second tier to my worm farm, so um, I finished, like I filled up the like first level. <laughs> so uh, I am now adding food to the second tier so they will soon migrate up and I will have healthy soil for my plants. <laughs> what else has happened, mom? Anything exciting that has changed? I got a lot of coffee stuff. <laughs> Um, I decided that my coffee setup, it's not time yet. And it's also, I just don't know if it's going to work. Um, so I got a coffee setup because I decided, because basically what I've been doing is reusable, refillable Keurig cups. And so you like fill it with ground coffee and you make coffee. It's fine, right? But obviously, I am a big fan of coffee. I like, I, I, I enjoy a good coffee, right? And so I was sitting here in quarantine, and I was like, well, I have nothing but time. So why don't I invest? Not really. It wasn't that big of an investment. I got all cheap supplies, right? Except the coffee. The coffee was expensive. And I was doing the whole pour-over coffee. And so I tried it for the first time a few minutes ago, but I put too much water in. But I'm going to get it right, and I'm going to have only fancy coffee from now on. Okay. What are you making? I'll show you in a minute. Okay. But yeah, should I do a mukbang? <laughs> um. Hello. Somebody's yelling at me. Can I go to the Um. I'm just reading everything right now. <laughs> wow. No. But I'll watch you eat it like a mukbang. Like a what? Like a mukbang. Somebody keeps yelling at me to get a TikTok. You guys, I'm just going to put this out and I'm going to put it out one time. It's not happening. It's not happening. <laughs> but also, since there's a lot of young viewers here, I feel like a lot of people haven't researched like what it means Basically, you sign everything, anything like Apple, anytime you purchase a new app, you sign away like certain rights, right? TikTok isn't an American owned company. So there are different laws and restrictions for America or American or different types of companies, right? TikTok, basically, once you put in all of your information, it's legally totally not in your control at all anymore just so you know so i'm not gonna have a tiktok <laughs> because i don't want my personal information to be in the hands of a different government i just got marshmallow on his hair that's okay it'll okay. add a little bit of excitement <sighs> somebody says well now i'm terrified of use tiktok well you already put in your information so. <laughs> Somebody says, what is she talking about? If you want to look into it on your own, literally just look up like TikTok privacy rules. Just Google it and you'll find a bunch of different articles. I am not educated enough to educate other people on it. I read an article. It made me uncomfortable. So I'm not going to do it. <laughs> and also, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting old. But like I just look at those and I'm just like, what is it? What? Oh. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Anyways. <laughs> somebody said something about a zoom um i also don't know how to use zoom <laughs> i also don't talk to multiple people at the same time i'm, I'm like a one-on-one -on -one type of gal so it just stopped scrolling mm. let's see i have a tiktok look-alike fascinating so he says that's why i use fake information Do a guess with Quincy. Is Quincy still in here and want to be my guest? Mm -hmm. What do I think about edits? I think everybody's like super talented that does edits. Like I want them to come in and start editing our show. And like 
do the thing because it's impressive. You love my nose, Reed. Thanks. Quincy says, <laughs> no. But maybe. <laughs> um. So he says, hi, queen. You got attacked by a spider. We've been having a cockroach issue. Huh, mom? <laughs> Basically, this cockroach was a zombie, and like I thought, I, I mean, well, I would like to put it out there. I am very much for not killing any form of animal, as I feel like has been like very much aware. I, I don't like speaking English anymore. It is very well known on the internet that I do not like killing any form of animal, whether that be like bug to large animal. But I don't really eat meat. Like it goes that deep, right? Cockroaches, on the other hand, I feel like they're allowed to die. Is that bad? Ma, am I allowed to say that? No, it's okay. They're scary. They also have exoskeletons, right? So <laughs> you go to kill a cockroach and it doesn't die. And if it does die, it crunches and I just feel bad. But they don't die. He says, I've been murdering gnats like inglorious bastards. Quincy. Any updates on Lizzie the cat? Yes, she's outside the house right now. <laughs> <laughs> what was my first job? Theater? I mean, professional theater was my first job. Lands in. <gasps> Modeling. Here Modeling. I booked a modeling job for Land's End and um, they put me in this like khaki skirt because Land's End. I was so excited. And my mom said, hey, like my daughter didn't go through like hair and makeup. Like, don't you guys like need her to go through hair and makeup? And they were like, no, it's fine. <laughs> uh, turns out they just wanted a picture of my butt, which sounds pedophilic because I was around eight years old, but it was just the, the detail of the pocket. I still got paid. Eight years old. <laughs> um, can we hear you sing? Okay. Okay. That's okay. How was the time I played Rapunzel? Good, solid question. So... <laughs> I booked that role for it if you I feel like everybody's seen it we don't need to talk about it we don't need to relive it please stop reposting it I just want it to die anyways <laughs> so I booked that role and then I went to go see my family in Hawaii I got very very tan as I do I just I walk out into the sun and I turn a different color unless I like cover up I will turn a different color so I was like, you know what, F it. <laughs> like Rapunzel can have a tan. Like who said, why does Rapunzel have to be blonde? Really? Why does she have to be the blue-eyed blonde? Why can't she be Kaylee colored? Right? Anyways, so I went to Hawaii, got a tan, did the thing. I also got henna with uh, my cousin. Because I just didn't care for some reason. Like, I'm usually very, like, into, like, okay, I, I, I booked this job, so, like, I can't do these things. But I was like, you know what? I'm so sick of letting these things control me. And so <laughs> I got henna. And then I showed up, and they had built this Rapunzel dress for me. This one guy spent a decent amount of time of his life building this dress. So I put it on, and they were like, Kaylee, what the fuck is on your hand? And I was like, oh, that'd be henna. And so they <laughs> had to cover it with makeup, obviously, because like me and my brain, when I got it, was like, they would just cover it with makeup. They didn't think to like set it, so it just got all over the dress. Like it wiped off my hand, didn't hide the henna, and just got all over the really pretty hand-built dress that there was not any extras of. So that's a little behind the scenes. <laughs> Did my nose piercing hurt? 
Mm, no, but I have so many. What well, doesn't look like now? But I, I don't know. Piercings aren't really like a thing for me. What? I just, it doesn't feel that painful. Like if you rate it on like a one to 10, I would say like all of my piercings are on like a range of like one to four. <laughs> Update on my plants now, they say in all caps. Okay, plants are doing good. Um, oh, my brother named the question mark plant. Um, their name is Moira, which I didn't really like, but Kane said that that's the plant's name, so She's great. whatever. Let's see what's exciting. Dye your hair again. Oh. No. <laughs> Maybe I will. I don't know. I think I should go blonde. Thoughts? Comments? No. <sighs> any new Netflix show recommendations? No, do you guys have any for me? <laughs> We're in a rut. Right, Mom? Well, I started season two of Dead to Me, but you didn't see season one. What's that? The Christina Applegate thing I was telling you about. James Marston. It's good. You love it. Okay. Now people are yelling at my name about, don't go blonde, go blonde. Listen, guys, if I wanted an opinion, <laughs> do you really think I would dye my hair green? <laughs> the whole, like, it's like, when I, I actually... said, should I go blonde? You asked. I was asking you. Oh, no. <laughs> you, you pose a question. Where it's like, if I like shave my head, it's not to, like, appear attractive. It's because like I want to shave my head. Like there's this weird concept of like attractiveness to coloring hair, but it's like if I were it's going, hair it's hair number one, and number two, if I wanted to have a fun color, it's because I want to have like a good time. Like I'm not necessarily like trying to like go on Tinder and like get some beaches. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's not really my thing of like, God, if only I looked more attractive today. It's just, I'd like to have fun. I spend, majority of my job is looking attractive. That's shitty to say. A lot of people spend a lot of time every day while I'm on set trying to make me look as attractive as possible, which, great, sure, but that's not necessarily how I want to spend my time. I just want to have a good time. I'm here for a good time, not a long time, you know? <laughs> I've never listened to Fifth Harmony. I'm very sorry. I'm very out of... Out of... Are they still a thing? I don't... Are they are still they a thing? Are they Fourth Harmony now? Are they Fourth Harmony? Somebody answer me. <laughs> Is Fifth Harmony still a thing? Now that... Camilla... Now that they're Camilla... Left. I feel like people are gonna rip me -ish to shreds because of this. Somebody says jail. Somebody says no, they aren't. They aren't still a thing. Somebody says no. Well, that's sad. Where'd the other girls go? Okay. Somebody said they broke up. <laughs> Shit. I mean, that's sad. Huh. They broke up two years ago. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, for sure. Um, uh, they all have solo careers. Bet. One of them is on Dancing with the Stars. How does that make sense? They were on Dancing with the Stars, or they are? Well, that's not happening right now. Uh, okay. I don't know what that is. So many people like expect me to be in the mix and I'm not in the mix. So when you say, do you like, I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'm like, it was something I couldn't pronounce. I don't know, it's gone now. <laughs> people are waving at me. Have I, been to, have I ever been to Israel? No, I'm sorry. Hello from Mexico, I have been to Mexico. 
<laughs> let's get the mush. Let's get the marshmallow off your face, huh, Shelly? Come here. Oh no. I need to hear you sing K-pop. Yuki Hanabira. No. Um. Omg. There, I think I got it. I am losing it. Uh, we've been baking bread, and then. <laughs> We watched the holiday edition of British Bake Off. <laughs> mm. Are you friends with everyone from Legacies? Heck yes. I mean, you know, does anybody else have a septum piercing and then they walk around like that and it's just like, whoa. Uh. Hello from South Africa. That's so cool. Hi. From the UK. I would love to come to Spain. Tell us one of your favorite behind the scenes. Um, there's so many. Um, but the season one blooper reel finally came out. A whoop whoop. Hey, Laylee. Hi. Oh. Hi, Barrett. Barrett says hi. I'm guessing Lizzie says hi, too. When did I get my piercing? A long time ago. But I just... How many tattoos do I have? One. Did I watch the gag reel from Legacy Season 1? Yeah, like a year ago. Way before you guys. <laughs> Favorite color is green and black. I like that combination very much. For sure. For sure. Yeah. There's dogs being walked across the street. He likes to say hi. I think I have to sneeze again. <laughs> I'm allergic to pity. Um, Do I have to take out my piercing out when I'm acting or can I hide it? No, I just flip it up. I'm not going to stick my fingers in my nose for you. I'm sorry. Do I live with Danielle Rose? No. Or do they mean live? I don't think she's on here. Oh, Slytherin colors. Yeah. Sounds like wicked. Kind of. Bless you if you do see. Thank you so much. <laughs> Somebody says, tell Mama Brian I said hi. Hi. Hi from Mexico. Hi. How's my French improved at all? Como allez-vous? Com, com, whatever. You know, I've decided I am never taking an online language course ever again because it does not compute. If I were in an in-person French class, wow, she'd be fluent. I wouldn't, but I'd definitely be doing better. Josie is a Slitherpuff. Mm, she's just a flat out Slytherin. I think we've all noticed that within the last season. Like she's just... You know. I'm just waiting for a fun question to come up that I haven't like already answered. Comment allez-vous? Yeah. Bonjour, je m'appelle Kelly. I had to do this thing where I had to like write out an entire conversation that I had to have with myself to end with Ah bon? Oui. Pretty sure I aced it. Favorite musical? All of them. Let's see. What's my personality type? Um, I don't know. C 
cereal, fruit, or both fruit. I'm not a big cereal fan. <laughs> Do I like Starbucks drinks? I'm gonna be hella honest. It's crazy times up in here. I really don't like Starbucks. Um, it just always tastes kind of sad to me. But then again, I really am into like coffee and it always just tastes a little sad. What's my zodiac sign? Scorpio. Somebody asked me if I've read a fanfic. Absolutely not. <laughs> That's way too much of like a deep dive that I just shouldn't, should not go down, you know? You're an Aquarius? Ah. If I could be cast in another show that is currently on TV, what would it be? Ooh. There's so many good shows out there. Ma! Mm. If I could be on another show that's currently airing, what would it be? Oh, yeah. My mom goes killing Eve? I mean, yeah. That'd be sick. Somebody literally just says she's part Japanese LMAO. LMAO? <laughs> mm. Any hints of Jade and Josie's storyline for season three? No. I always get in trouble with my hints. People are asking me now about my astrology stuff and I, I believe far too much in that to give that away. <laughs> like, what's your rising sign? What's your moon sign? I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> I should go on Criminal Minds. I was already on Criminal Minds. It was the best time. Matthew Gray Goobler was the nicest human being ever. I want to be him when I grow up. Kaylee, a twice stand with Momo Bias? In all caps, yes, Mona, M Mona, Momo and Mina are top tier. Do I know what's gonna happen in season three? I know what's gonna happen in the sense of like, I know what didn't make it into season two that should have, that will then obviously kind of transfer over to season three. But other than that, which would be like the very beginning of season three, I have no idea what is going on. I am planning on just enjoying time, showing up work on time, drink lots of water, and just do it. Somebody said I did a good job in Criminal Minds. Thanks. That was very stressful. <laughs> Have I watched Little Fires Everywhere? No, but my friend Carrie Wampler, who if you don't follow, is like genuinely one of the best humans I know. Um, she really, really loves that show. I have not yet watched it, though. When do I start filming again? Whenever the Rona decides she's done ending the planet. Technically, the planet is actually doing a lot better. It's more so the human race that isn't doing so hot right now. I'm just gonna sit in silence every now and then, you know? Have I watched the half of it? Yes, I loved it. So many people were like only messaging me, like, Kaylee, have you seen the half of it? And I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm yelling. Where do I see myself five years from now? I see myself <laughs> on a very large, multiple acreages of land with lots of animals, like lots of animals. 
maybe that's like a 10 year thing. No, nope, we're going to say five years. We're going to be really optimistic. Five years from now, I am going to have a sanctuary for animals. And that's just all I'm going to do. Besides acting. Cottage core, what the actual F. <laughs> I'm trying not to curse. But what is up with all of these new things coming out? I think that everybody's bored and all these things are coming up and everybody's yelling at each other. <laughs> this is quarantine. You like my outfit, thank you so much. I got this from Poshmark for $5. <laughs> Okay. I'll answer like, let's say three more questions and I'll go away. Probably eat more kimchi. What would be my dream Disney princess role? I wouldn't say any of them. I feel like they all have very important backgrounds that don't fit mine. Like, I can pull different things from different Disney princesses and go, oh yeah, I know that from my childhood, or I feel that, or I look like her. But there isn't one story that's like, matches my background. So I don't really feel like it'd be right for me to play any of the Disney princesses because, yeah. What do you think is gonna happen? No, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> okay, second question. Am I vegan or vegetarian? Um, I am pescatarian, um, so I eat the occasional egg and fish, but I don't really agree with cheese like cheese and like dairy and I are just like really not friends my brother is texting me and I don't understand what he's getting at um but yeah I just try to avoid animal products even fish is a little like overfishing is really bad for the planet so yeah <laughs> um My brother asks, would you fight one? Oh. I think he said, would I fight one horse sized duck or a hundred duck sized horses? I would say one horse sized duck. Horses are nice. Right? But ducks are mean. Well, geese are ducks. Right? So why would I be fighting them in the first place? No, but even then I would still try to reason with them. <laughs> if you didn't know, I have like, how do I say this? I really enjoy, enjoy is a strange word. I like snakes. I really like snakes. Um, I really want to get a ball python like really, really badly. Since I'm staying with my mother, she says that's not okay. <laughs> but I, so my mom is very afraid of snakes. I was like, what if I got a legless lizard? If you didn't know. Legs, there, there's such a thing as legless lizards. Um, it's in the Indiana Jones film, and he goes, um, snakes. Why does it always have to be snakes? When in reality, he should be saying, legless lizards. Why does it always have to be legless lizards? 
what how what, what brought me on this journey oh i don't like geese <laughs> i'm genuinely afraid of geese they're just really erratic and kind of dicks and i just don't like them i do in fact though enjoy enjoy is such an odd word for that i like snakes i think they're really cute Lizards or cockroaches? Lizards, because they'll eat the cockroaches, duh. I said I would only answer three questions. Stop asking me about last night's episode of Killing Eve. It makes me very upset that I cannot- Ma, we need to figure out how to watch uh, Killing Eve. Peace. But yeah, I'm trying to talk Danielle into getting a, 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 a leopard gecko because I think they're really cute and I think that she would enjoy them, but she won't feed them. Like, she's like, I've never feed anything, like, moving, you know what I mean? She freaked out by that whole process. But my thing with that, as a fellow pescatarian person that is aware of the way that the world works and the way that food is processed and I just I understand it it freaks me out it makes me uncomfortable right so people always ask Kaylee how are you going to be okay with feeding a frozen thawed mouse to your ball python well Karen let me tell you how I'm okay with that I feed my dog some form of dog food every day right because I'm a good dog owner I'm not going to feed my dog vegan dog food you know why because he's a dog so I have no idea how many different animals are in my dog's dog food because it's dog food, right? It's compressed different types of meat. It's basically like sausage is like what is the leftover and then dog food is like the leftover of the leftover, right? Makes me very uncomfortable. So the question of like, are you comfortable with giving a snake a frozen thawed mouse? is like, well, at least I know exactly what it is and it's only one thing as opposed to God knows how many chickens, cows, turkeys, the list goes on. Horses. Some dog food contains horse meat. <sighs> I think I'm done now. I should probably turn off the live, right, Mom? <laughs> oh my God, somebody's asking me if I have a fucking TikTok account. <laughs> no. Google. <laughs> Google's privacy policies behind TikTok and then ask yourself whether you should have one as well. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Good night, guys. Bye-bye.